Hey guys, how are you going? Uh, it's hard for me to say this, but unfortunately, the card corrupted again for this week's customer. Cust Just kidding. Hi guys, welcome back to Customer Customs episode 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 9, 10, 11, wait. Episode 16. Great, welcome back for that. Now this week's gonna be a great week. Um, no real reason. I suppose this is a great week because there wasn't one last week. Let us pick a wiener of Customer Customs episode 16. Ah, oh, Sean. I didn't do the show more thing again. Two hours later. Dude, I... You know what? This guy. This guy right here. KTM 111. Hmm, congratulations, buddy. Let's get those parts up. Cool. So let's let's get a bus downstairs and get stepped up and step stairs. Fidget spinners. Boom. Yeah, I'm looking at this. This is going to be a really cool custom. Another flavor deck. So I am keen. Um, we'll start off with the flavor deck in the blue. Usually we start down there, Sean. Do you guys notice that it's different this week? Oh my god. Cool. Flavor deck in a blue. And then we have um, ODI grips in blue. Things in blue. I don't know if we have those. We do not. I mean, we got black. We do a blue and black custom, or we just choose a different company. Maybe we go Urban Art and Blue and keep his blue wishes. All right, and then, oh, it says bars you pick. Cool, let's. I'm not gonna do that, I'd definitely <laughs> smack myself in the face with some product. We get to pick the bars, I'm excited. This is basically a Which one should we pick? I don't know. <laughs> these are the Urban Art Dog Bars, and these are tiny because they're old. But this is going to be sweet because this deck is also not the 47. So it's 45. So it's going to be a smaller custom, but <clears throat> very nice. This is looking pretty good together so far. So, uh, Blue River Wheels. We can do wheels next. We haven't had wheels. We have either, I swear I've only seen these pink ones here for ages. Guys. Come and buy the pink wheels. We've got lots. Um, but we don't have blue. I guess we should just go home then. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we. I can't just go home. I have a job. I right. will get fired. But let's build this custom. I'm thinking doing custom wheels. Doing castle wheels, boom. There you go. We should probably pick Clamp while we're here as well. Um, oh, cool. He picked a Phoenix SES clamp in a black. That's actually dope. I love Phoenix clamps. Of course, we don't have it. Um, yeah, it's purple gold. Purple gold ruster. Ruster would be pretty cool. Wait, what is that? No, it's not. It's not a Phoenix clamp. That's a district clamp. It's cool. But that's a lot of blue. That's a different blue. They might not do that. That's a cool clamp though. Should guys. That's a cool clamp. Um, but we're not going to pick that. Uh, we will pick... Alright, we don't have... Things that we know. We definitely don't have the Phoenix in a black. I don't want to use that district in a blue. Because... That's probably blue overkill. There aren't any other black parts on the scooter at all. So, with that information, so three things in mind, I might pick a chrome clamp. What brand? Urban art. Let's keep it. Let's keep it mean. Let's keep it lean. Let's keep it urban art. All the machine. Cool. All right. So we get our Dylan Casson wheels. Casson. I know he's not French, but I just think it's fun saying Casson. Mr. KTM one one one. You didn't pick any colors, which I don't mind because like your boy's got ya. But maybe it's better because we'll pick better parts. All right. So. Let's run through the parts. We've got a bars, wheel clamp, wheels, fork, deck, grips. What's a deck without grip tape, yo? And what are bars without grips? Oh, we have actually chosen grips. What grips? Oh, oh no, we have chosen the grips. We chose the Urban Art grips because we didn't have the blue ODI as BT. Sorry, my phone was on it and I was just like... I was reading from my phone and it was... It's okay. You don't need to make excuses. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go get this. <laughs> Ow! 
That really hurt. <laughs> I didn't do it properly. It just like slid to my stomach. I got it though. Let's get the pass. Let's go upstairs. You got it? Yep. Let's quickly run through these parts. Starting off with the clamp, apparently. Uh, so we got the Urban Art 4 bolt SES. And then we got the tilt wheels, the Dewan Kassen signatures. Very nice. We got the Urban Art in blue. Root Industries tall stack headset. The tilt silver forks, the tomahawk, tomahawk forks. Fantastic piece of little resistance. The deck is beautiful. Tilt grip tape, which is gonna top it off so nice. And down to the bars, we got the Urban Art dog bars, which, if everyone remembers the blunt stripper bars back in the day, they look so similar. But these are gonna be super cool. Um, but anyway, we won't know until we see it all built together. So, Sean. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, I had one thing to talk about with you guys first. Um, before we build the scooter, uh, do you guys, there's a pole right here. We're gonna build it uh, a different way this week and you tell us if you like it. And if not, we'll go back to the other way. Or if you've got a new suggestion, comment below and we'll read it, get to it, and we'll mix up our stuff. Anyway, come in, we'll build the scooter. This is amazing. As you can see, this scooter looks amazing. I was totally right, and so was Sean, with that kind of raw chrome blue look. So schmick. But as always, guys, let's go do the drop test and see how she sounds. All right, let's do the drop test. Oh, yeah, no, it's good. And Sean, isn't, isn't this the thumbnail spot? Yeah, let's just get the thumbnail now. Sweet. All right, guys, so remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, and yeah, we'll see you next time.